Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, I'm talking about January the 3rd of the year 2022 and the fast of the 10th month. As you probably know already, there are four fasts throughout the year. There's one in the fourth month, the fifth month, the seventh month, and the 10th month, as we see listed here in Zechariah chapter 8 and verse 19. The origins of these fasts can be found in 2 Kings chapter 25, where it talks about the besiegement of Jerusalem by Nebuchadnezzar. It was in the 10th month that he besieged Jerusalem. It was in the 4th month that the famines prevailed. It was in the 5th month that they actually burned the temple down altogether. And then we also see an event in the 7th month. But I personally think that the seventh month fast has more to do with atonement day than what we see listed here. But anyway, notice back over here in Zechariah chapter eight that it says one day these fasts will become feast for the house of Judah. In other words, leading up to that day, these are dress rehearsals where we fast in remembrance of these events that took place back a long time ago. But when you look into the prophecies surrounding this day, you see that they are tied to some of the bigger, better events that are supposed to take place here in these end times. Like, for instance, the rise of Michael or the rise of the Elijah spirit, like we see over there in Daniel chapter 12. We see this event mentioned all over the Bible, including First Thessalonians 4 and Second Corinthians, where it's talking about humanity will change in the twinkling of an eye. Well, when we drop down to the end of the verse, we see that Daniel is actually giving us timing on when all of that should take place, where he talks about the 1,290 days and the 1,335 days and how we are to receive a blessing at the end of those periods. Well, that's what Zechariah is talking about when he says that it will be a feast for the house of Judah with joy and gladness. When we look back at the prophecy of Daniel and he's giving us the timing, notice in verse 12 that he's talking about the time from which the daily sacrifice was taken away. And then when we come back to chapter one, we find out that that actually took place in the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah. And then when we come to Ezekiel chapter 24, we find that that actually took place on the 10th day of the 10th month. That's when the 1,290 days started and will be when the 1,335 days end. So when we add the 1,290 years plus 1,335 years, we end up sometime around where we're at now being the time when we should see Michael stand up. Now, we just did a video talking about the return of the prophet Elijah that we read about in Malachi chapter four. And we learned in that video that his return could actually be subtle with the majority of humanity not recognizing his appearance. And if so, this event could have actually taken place already early in the year 2022 but I tend to think that it will be tied to a bigger, more catastrophic event, like the earthquake that we see over in Revelation chapter 8. But I guess only time will tell. In the meantime, we'll continue on with our dress rehearsal fast that we do according to Isaiah 58, which is the chapter that we learn what a true fast is. It's not so much abstaining from food, like we see them being chastised there in verse five. That's not the way our father expects us to fast, but more like what we see down in verse six and verse seven and on in this chapter and how fasting has to do with providing aid for our brother. Well, when we see this earthquake or these other catastrophic events that come upon the world, this is exactly what we will be doing, praying for them unless we're close enough to actually help them physically. But either way, I just wanted to let you guys know that this is going down. This fast of the 10th month is actually on January the 3rd.
many of us will start fasting this evening, the evening of January the 2nd. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because if anything does happen to go down, or I should say when it does go down, because the Great Awakening, which is actually what we're talking about, will happen one day. That will be the time that we will be called in order to take action. Those that have been preparing themselves for all these many years, now will be the time to share what we've learned with the rest of the world, who all of a sudden will be more than willing to actually hear what we have to say. It's going to be some exciting times as the tables turn and we go from being the tail and start to become the head.